because we've not given our children platform to openly talk about things. We are telling them to be men. We are telling them to be masculine, you know, that kind of thing. So for now, that is it. Um, I hope I've, I've, I've made sense in my presentation, Janet. Yeah, Thank yeah, you. yeah, yeah. So, so insightful. Uh, thanks so much. Hatma. Janat, um, um, allow yes, me to please. chip in a little bit on uh, yes. to supplement yes. uh, my sister's uh, submission. Um, actually, I love the element of communication. Really, it's right paramount when you talk about communication. Men who have issues with communication. And, uh, Go the, on, Smoogie. Much as we uh, it's having, okay. Much, much as we're having problems with our communication issues as men, um, it also comes with the uh, reasons we have trust issues unlike you ladies Olugambo, it's okay you can <laughs> always uh, unleash whatever you want but men we have mm. all, always trust issues so sometimes we stomach a lot because we don't know if i tell you certain things i aren't you going to spread it around you get it yes men mm. to men yeah. we don't normally communicate which is okay but when it comes to um, um, men and women, it's a little bit of a challenge. For example, um, with my wife, I may be a little bit reserved to tell her certain things. Reasons being that probably what can be uh, an issue can go into her next family, you know, <laughs> family <laughs> and trustee. And before you know it, an issue which was really a matter to me can become, you know, a laughing stock to some other people because we also we really differ in how we perceive certain areas. But certain uh, Smokey, that is uh, that is all all mental health issues because you realize that in most cases, people who yeah. have trust issues are battling mm -hmm. some trauma, most especially childhood trauma. So they didn't uh, trust. Maybe they were they weren't. Uh, or their promises weren't always fulfilled. Now they mm. are getting those trust uh, issues. So it is still uh, mental health issues in men. So that's, I think, one of the signs. Yeah, it's one of the signs. Probably. And then I'll also add, mm. I'll also add uh, on to, uh, I'll, I'll give us just a small piece of advice mm. to our brothers here. Please do not rush into marrying that girl that you've just uh, met on the plane or on the train or wherever. Do some background check. I believe if someone is your friend, because a friend, you're supposed to confide in a friend, you're supposed to you know, discuss things, you're supposed to talk about things. But if you know that this person is going to turn you into a conversation back home, then that yeah, is not your friend. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes, that is not yeah. So we, yeah. we need to also be mm. careful how we choose our partners. Yeah, mm. so we need to not so much, uh, we shouldn't rush in. If you're 45 and you've not yet committed, please, and you're still trying to study this person, no one should rush you because, I mean, this is the person you're going to spend the rest of your life with. You're going to, she's going to be the mother of your children. If you cannot confide in her, then it doesn't make sense. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah it's Hajat, true. Ahatma, you know, this comes with a challenge uh, because society mm. and how we, come with relationships also i mean how we go into relationships sometimes uh is defined by how the society uh, we stay in looks mm. at relationships and then we have also another element of um religion you may say that at a certain age i'm supposed to to see a uh, back check blah 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 but haji kaku gamba abana bai no kuvao so it's really, we're living a challenge, uh, but I like your submission uh, where you talked about so much about communication, but for men, we have issues, which is trust issues, basically ego is eating us too much. Mm -hmm. You can't just let out. Yeah, yeah, very like that. But mm -hmm. all in all, you realize that these mental health issues, when it comes to, um, to men, it affects us differently, but how you can, uh, I mean, I can all sum it also a little bit in a way that you see how we react. We have this ex es escapism, mm. running away from reality. Yeah. Instead of solving an issue, we just escape it and then we go into drugs, alcohol, mm. thinking that we're solving it. And then also there's the other, other withdrawal 
withdraw um, uh, situation, thinking that it can also help us. Well, you know, this Fatima has realized that I'm into the science, and then she's calling me for counseling. Then we just create, you know, plans to run away. We are withdrawing from such issues. At work, yeah. workplaces, when I was still working in uh, uh, National Water, we used to have those sessions where they could involve, you know, some activities. But some people used to be so much into, had issues that they could avoid activities like that. Yet, at times, those are emotional support systems that can help us to run away from issues like that. And uh, with the withdrawal element, you see that we are running away from um, activities, uh, work, uh, social um, participation, you, you fail to participate, yet those can be kind, kind of the remedies. But all in all, you will realize that mental health uh, is mild and uh, uh, mild and it dense here, the, and it affects it. us. Mm. Mm. It affects us both in the cognitive element, in the behavioral mm. and emotional well-being. But it remains a challenge to society mm. right now, like Hatma said, that society has a key role to play. Mm. Yeah. But you, I mean, Madam Host. And then yeah. Janat, Janat, yeah. allow me yeah. to tell the ladies on this call that yeah. it takes two to tango. If you make mm. it hard for your husband at home and they are going through a mental health challenge, trust mm. me, that home is also, you're going to go through, in a way it is going to spread over to you and your children. Yeah, mm. I keep yeah. telling you, mm. make the home peaceful for your man. To mm. also you for, for you for yourself to also have a peaceful home if your man mm. is going through a mental health issue trust me it is going to reflect on on your family as well thank mm. you yeah thanks so much uh, Hatma and Smugi for that uh, wonderful submission uh talking of the home it is meant to be a safe haven for each and everyone so if you make it uncomfortable for him you talked of ex escapism Smugi and also uh, Hatma you talked of running away do you know that men are really running away? Do you know that in most cases, men, most men don't want to go back early at home? Have you ever heard of that or realized that? They don't so want to go back early. Yeah. I have a uh, friend who hits the gym from 6 p.m. to 10. But do you think that person is okay at home? If no, he's not. Into, yeah, to talk to him. Because not, I've talked to him. He doesn't want to go home early. He wants to go home when uh, the wife is in the bed and then the children are... So he gets in and then, because yeah, he doesn't yeah, drink is. anyway, so the gym is his alternative. Yeah, oh, there okay. is a reason for that. Uh, there is a, a certain place I go, I pass by when going to pick my kids from school. I always go early, maybe at around three, at around four. That's the time we go to pick kids on uh, going back home day. They are in boarding, some of them. But there is a certain, there are certain places I bypass during that time when the bars are open and full. And men are there, but people are there I, as, as if it's there. And someone told me that those men, they have places they bathe, uh, they refresh themselves at, and then they keep the, the envoy, the, the clothes at the, uh, the dry cleaners. So they go, they get, he gets his suit and go to office. But when you talk to most of those men, so they are doing it as an escaping mechanism. They are running away from something. That's why uh, we need to help these men because when you t they don't have uh, anyone to talk to, as Mogi said, they or they don't want they don't have anywhere to offload. So if we talk to them, you will realize that they are having they are going through a lot. But my talked of the sickness. We have a saying here, meaning that men don't show that they are sick. So when he reaches an extent of sleeping or going, not going to work or going to hospital, you will know that he's truly very sick. Yeah, so when I get to you, Smoggy, looking at men, you are the engine of the home. So it means when yeah. things are not okay with you, you're going to, you're the head, by the way, you're going to affect all other parts of the body. So how do you see, how is it going to affect the other people around me, the children, the family, the society? How is this whole mental health issue in men going to affect us as, yeah? Well, as thank, you for, thank you very much, uh, Madam Host, Janat, mm. Yaha, yeah. Mm. Meanwhile, um, you said I'm the head. 
all those stories depend in your society where you stay. Come to diaspora where there's equality, your head will not work that you're the head. They are promoting equality. Hey, mm. a woman at times even mm. earns more than you. But yeah, anyway, so all depends. in all, uh, yeah, the aspect you of are. you are the head just remains in us that knowing, yes, I'm the head. And at times mm. even it's uh, utilized to, man to actually, they manipulate it such that mm. they can run away from their responsibilities and then they mm. claim you are the head. <laughs> but, um, well, um, back to what you said, uh, the kind of the effects, um, since in quotes you say that I'm ahead, really um, a mental health issues, uh, when you look at the effects, it's just a multiplier effect from uh, its genesis, it just continues and continues to affect other people and other people. There was a story where, I had, uh, where a father had lost a job and the father losing a job, um, he went back and uh, the woman didn't know exactly what really happened, but the man was so aggressive. So the woman was seeking for Senteza Meza. The man was like, Mundeke Namu. Then he went away. So the woman was mad, but she couldn't get a solution. So the kid came, her, their, their son just came directly jumping up and around and then was like, mom, I didn't get this. Mom, he just slapped the boy. Oh. So I'm trying to show you how it's multiplying. It's a multiply effect. So the boy was now much, he didn't know what really happened. And the cat, their, their own domestic cat was around. The kid just kicked the cat to offload. The cat ran, and in the middle of crossing the road, uh, the driver who was driving a taxi, Neyekanga, what was crossing. So an accident just happened, killing more and more in the taxi. Mm. My situation is this. Mental health of someone in the house can be a multiplier affecting everyone at home. Say, for example, one, away from even the people, even society, society needs brave men. But if one is affected, then society is being affected. But let's go to real people at home. So once you lose a job, financially, you're affected at home. And this is going to affect all people at home. In the way you've been providing, the wife, first of all, is going to look at you in a different element. As a, a, lead, of, a, a lead of a family, that aspect is going to run away. Some women are going to belittle you down if mm. you did marry a friend. Mm. That's what Ahatma was trying to mean. Try to mm. marry a friend, try to get someone who can be there with you in situations which are really so challenging. But would, if you get a Mr. Swangule Jakuno, you find yourself totally gone. But it all comes to mentally, if you're sick, some of them cannot stand with you. And if it's this uh, severe mental health issues, some people, they relate it to what uh, Mariam said that uh, things like that. So I cannot stand this kind of person instead of standing with a person like that to solve a situation. So basically it affects the mental uh, status of also the people at home. Sometimes we may say mental health of a man can be also effective somehow that at some extent your partner, if she's not so strong, she may also end up into a mental status. Failure to, you know, take the lead or failure to hook onto your responsibility or the tasks you've been, uh, you know, having. So when the bulk is coming too much, sometimes she might also be affected by it and also she goes into the mental bit of it. But um, the children, definitely, we have a lot of topics we've always been talking about here in the Euro Forum you may find that the child upbringing also becomes a challenge. For example, you're a parent. Mentally, you're not, you're not okay. What do you expect your children to be? Remember, this is um, an issue which is going to affect your cognitive uh, element, uh, behavior, and then emotion. 
So are you in uh, a proper mindset to have child upbringing? So it also becomes a challenge. So there are very many effects. Some of them are really so emotional, others uh, just physical. And then um, away from that, you may find that even it, it can go an extra mile to be uh, to cause uh, like, you know, fatigue on you. And, uh, you know, cardiac diseases can also jump in. But at the end of it all, as a person who is ahead in the family, family is going to be affected financially, emotionally, and um, basically, at the end of it all, you might, you might realize that also your partner is going to be um, mentally going to be affected if she fails to accommodate the pressure of the responsibilities or the, uh, the shame on society and how society is looking at you. So at the end of it all, it becomes a mild Liar. I've just talked about only the family, but there are very many areas we can look at if it comes to effects of uh, a head of a family becoming mentally healed. Back yeah. to you, lady. Mm. Uh, thanks so much, uh, Smoogie, for that uh, wonderful insight. You, you talked about family being important. Yeah, I resonate with you because there is one author, James William. He said, family is not an important thing but a very important thing. So family is very important and we've got to prioritize it anyway. So if the man is not mentally stable, it goes back to the women, maybe on the call today, that if your man is not stable mentally, the whole family is going to be affected. So it's up to us, the women, to make sure that we put a safe place, uh, a safe haven in our homes for our husbands anyway, because what affects them is going to affect us at well, as well. Where two elephants fight, it's the grass which suffers. So your children are going to suffer as a result of your mind not being mentally stable. He's going to uh, uh, traumatize you because he has not, uh, uh, things are not well at work. He's going to come back. You're not uh, comforting him maybe. Then you will carry the baggage to the children as well. I've seen a woman who has beaten her child to death. Uh, the child had, has, had stolen some money, but I don't think the anger was stemming from the money. Uh, it wasn't stemming from the money, but it was also stemming from above. As you said, it's uh, a multiplier effect. effect so yeah. this, uh, I think we can uh, give, uh, look at some ways, uh, some steps to follow for uh, someone out there to know what exactly to do in case you are in such a place or in case you realize that you're going through some of these things we've talked about, you have some of the symptoms, what do we think we can do to help the, our viewers out there? Uh, I think uh, Councillor Yassin will come in to give us some insights on how people on the call today are going to, what they are going to take away, what's their take home about what they are supposed to do on improving their mental health state, uh, especially the men. Okay, good evening, colleagues. Good evening, yes. Good evening. Alhamdulillah, I appreciate Madam uh, Muchala Mariam, then uh, Madam Muchala Hatma, uh, plus uh, the fell man, the man in man. <laughs> <laughs> well, <and I> assume. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you listen to the, to the three great ladies, we are on the panel specifically Muchala Hatma, you see, there is a way she's just hitting it deep, man, man, man. And I was a bit uh, kind of getting a bit of jealous, uh, saying now the two of us, now these three ladies here are just engulfing us anyway. That is very good. Yeah. Uh, 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 thank you for all those observations. Uh, so some, these are some of the tips. Actually, something we should know when we talk about mental health, it means in a simple way, go back home. That's what it means in a simple way or in a layman's language. Because when you go back home, go back home, fall in love with people you like, go back home, meet your mother have taken long without seeing, go back home, tell your children I love you, tell everyone I love you, go back home, begin turning around. That is in a simple way out for Someone from real understand of Tevink, Bumabongo, Neno, of Tevink, Bumabongo, to watch. So, 
butugamba tudeye waka tugwe mukwano nabantu abo abatwagala but that is just a mere uh, a, a way out uh, me who is uh, uh, who is majorly handling and dealing with boys uh, you know the boys i'm handling with this organization they are former street children survivors uh, of course, I've worked with them for a journey uh, for a long time, but um, along the way, uh, I introduced something called, uh, actually, I've not done it to them alone. I've uh, been the fact that we have been in different communities and dialogues, uh, trying also to see how we can push this bit of men being recognized selfly, not the world, because the world has already recognized them though on a negative side. Uh, Boris, uh, every moment I meet uh, men, I always ask them, Chiche Turi, who are we? There's one gentleman, is a colleague you have spent like uh, four years, but one time along the stage he was telling me, Gwe Yasin, are you aware that my wife is telling me that I have a small uh, privacy? I asked him, how did he reach at that conclusion? He has gone around to even to his home and tell and even he has he stays with she stays with a knife. Uh, and she's telling me, you have small privacy. Who are you? So this gentleman, being a friend, at first I thought we joke a lot and was like bring up a cracked joke. When I faced him, his face had got pale. He was he looked kind of exhausted. So he told then when he, I kept silent, also kept silent and looked at him, then he was telling me. If it is very small, how comes that it managed to give birth to, to, to bring a child into her? <laughs> then I asked this. I, in my mind, I had a lot of rotation running things in my mind. Uh, you first sit down and you look at these things in a prior way. So we had a kind of discussion. But I mean, uh, me, this is kind of what I'm trying to introduce. Uh, I always ask men to ask themselves, teacher Tuli, apart from our business schedules. We have parented children. We have we have been parented also. Who are we? When we get an answer for that, we shall even start opening up what we call main garage. ourselves. When we are not talking about the economy, yeah. so I've also gone back and I've tried to imbue that into these boys I'm handling. Every day I always ask them what makes them happy, how do they find the happiness, what makes them sad, then ever we sit. So we have even introduced small, small seats where we can sit, sit under the, 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 uh, the, the, the tree. Yeah, so that question it keeps coming. The other bit, Mr. So 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 who the other colleague, the gentleman, has been that it's a multiplier. It will mm. keep a bit reducing every moment we create that uh, environment for us. Mm. Uh, number one tip: Lo let us men learn to look at mental illness or mental issues as uh, as an illness, but not weakness or fault. What does this mean? It means it's important to break the silence. That's why Kalike Ngambe Kalibu Lube Twebu Zachi Tetuli Tochebu Zabuom Tudeo Twebu Lida Vasaji Debya Finafe Vitu Womeda Wakazi Besi Gebi Ntu Kumi Mwa Vete Kamwe Vitu Ntu Mwotwe Vibi Kirida Vateka Kebi Muli Kubokaya Vata Amblani Vaku Vobu Kondo Naifa Vasaji Atukua Vuku Vingato Netumala Netuteka Kama Tai Netuambala Amakanzu Netugenda Netunyuma Kunguru Nainga Munda Temunyumie Tosa Nwe We Need to Look At that so then seek professional help yeah it is still uh, a big um, a bigger journey we are heading we, we, we are trying to push uh, i'm struggling with the workers at my place however much they uh, they assign me that i'm supposed to help them oh they always tell me counselor for us we love you so much but we don't come for your counseling for us we can't go for counseling for what what are you going to tell us but we appreciate you are to the boys and even giving them good plans. So uh, we need to, to help them learn to seek for help. Mm -hmm. Then uh, we have what we call get moving exercises and meditation. 
uh, with my experience, there are some things I've learned through meditation. There are some uh, at our workplaces, we have what you call the sand therapy, sugar therapy, candle meditation. I've used those people, those things, especially to men, not fellow workmates, but there are men who usually come to my sessions. And uh, when, when, when we use such things, even to tell them to draw themselves, it helps them to fully open up their issues and openly talk. Then after talking, you'll see them now they're saying, eh, ngaba sajja tutula kebi into being. Then you tell them to alibi tutula, kwa fetu wagala tubi etu zeko. So we tend to help to bring the things to, to be part of us. Yeah, so meditation and exercises. Then when we're also doing exercises, I've always encouraged men, don't do exercises because you are doing exercises. Do intentional exercises, which are helping you to pull out that um, historical trauma which have been uh, uh, struggling with. So in, for me in my sessions, they always do it when I'm there, I'm available. I see their aggressiveness, they are and so many others. Then seek support. That goes back. Abasadja tuwe tuwe buzenga chiche tuli tu gende tu lembo four four four. Na fetu ambale kuvesting atuli kubi tinga tuli movingu. Sibi ne bi no e bi indiscipline e bi pum e bi movinga muti muti buga. Omsadja mukulu yamba dagan tu akabina kalibwe ah tu ba kebi febiri settled. Tu gende kukuma kumbala mazenia njia. Tu nyumia e bi intu e bi afenga. Tu nyumia bi amirim. Tu nyumia bata tusa sudere. Tu e gamba ke bi gamba bi tuwa meranga ba chale ba nyuma. Tete tegeza tu ba ba no. And uh, there is a team of church members. I introduced that to them. They are in Wachiso. These people have already called me telling me what we are. And they are working upon it. And I think it has proven eh, something. Then undertake new activities. A man don't overdo on a job where you feel things are not moving on well. Try to take on other roles. Lima ko. My like Michelle Hatim, I've been help, help, following her for so many years and how she does her things. So I've never met her face come. Uh, but uh, when I hear she has a restaurant, she has this, she does this, she does this, she does this. That work she's doing to brings happiness into her. She doesn't like concentrate on one thing, even other people. So even men should know that they are trying to do what we call parenting, but remember at the end of the day, men are going to remain alone. The children will go away with their mothers. Abana valenzi era mama kwa joko ita anjiga abana mchogiru. Gwetato jaku siga layo. Abana valenzi kati when you don't create up your own environment at the beginning, you find, even if you have a wall, you can 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 have a wall, so you can have a wall. Then we have tried to breathe in exercises and so on and so forth. Take a break when you are tired. I'm going to tell you, 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 to a gam genem umlem is always important. Men should learn. Yes. Men should learn to go and have a rest. I've always told many of their colleagues, I told them, you go back home. Go and sit at home. Get get relaxed when you're tired. Gendo tamblo veke wako gende weko levi ndungo liyo mwuse ndala wekane sinti obuse mwubamu Uganda ni genda ke wali evibida genda wale he go and rest that will limit or will minimize but besides that binobyo nabivawa we are supposed to start encouraging these things from especially parents who are having boy children in their homes tell the children omululu mwubi bera mwukaka mwum Oksungu wala kulungi kwa mtu wa sana oksungu wana isungu wala atoyo gere, tosibabu sungu. Like, those are things which are making children to begin on a ground, help by the time ni watu keno mbukulu, nga, asobulo kuwela, nga, asobulo kuwela. Na kechila la mothers should also, like parents, also we should teach children to learn to fight for themselves, not always to be coming to report to us. No, let us be giving them tips. How they how they back off on certain things, how they continue on things. They should be open. 
omwana abaya galo mupira tiye ku momo omwana abaya galo tiye ku momo then also uh, wali work akajanja ka birthdays wobo ulango byagala bikole wobo ulanga to jabbe maintaining ato bikola so like omwana to take away that kind of fault faultness into him to bula nabe tutu kena basajja tani ko gafenga te mutu gamba ko happy birthday tunga te mutu gamba ko ntuli balunji tunga te mutu gamba ko chi tajja bisanga mbufumbo it should start from the home i submit yeah, thanks so much, Ayasin. Uh, it was uh, such a wonderful <coughs> submission. Thanks so much for the insights to the men. Hope the men out there have taken a note, uh, at least move out with a thing one or two. Uh, yes, Hatima. <laughs> Brother Yasin, thank you for that submission. And uh, just to add on, to supplement, um, Research shows that uh, mental health in men mainly affect them in their later years. Yeah, they tend to feel abandoned. The children are always with the mother. They check on the mother. When a child visits, they'll give mother a uh, hundred k. Then they give the father one fifty k. But then the father has to share the one fifty k. You know. But with the, where, with does the this, where does this stem from? Now. Men, in your early years, please be in the lives of your children. Co create that bond. Create that connection such that you don't feel abandoned in your later years and think that the men, the, the, the children love their mother so much. You were not there in their early years. There is no bond. So men, create that bond with your children such that the friendships, the friendship has a foundation. They will not forget you, even when you. I I think you get what I mean. Yeah, we do. We get it. Yes, oh, for sure. You're right, Hatma. Um, the I believe, if you don't create a suitable home, then don't complain when things go the other way around. I've heard from my brother Ayasin to Gambia to get to get the kawaka, kawaka water creating a good harmony. That's why we don't go there. But like uh, what um, uh, my sister said, uh, Atma, let's create an environment which is suitable for us. And at some point when uh, the future eventualities come, we shall be in a comfortable zone. Involve yourself into the child upbringing. Involve, I mean, create friendship with your partner such that as time goes on, you know, men, we get so lonely this effect won't be that much. I mean, we shall not be so that lonely. The kids will always come back. But so unfortunate that most of the times, even uh, I find myself easily connecting maybe so much with the mom more than the dad, yet he's always mm -hmm. there for me. And But the line between uh, uh, the mom's, um, my contribution towards mom and dad is thin, but it was mom who was so much into my life. So you're very right saying that let's participate in, uh, you know, the child's upbringing, or let's create environment at home which can give us peace, such that when it comes to offloading our issues, it's the mm. suitable environment which can start where we can start from as a remedy. Thank you very mm. much. Yeah, thanks so much uh, about that. Uh, about that same thing, uh, when I'm talking to the mothers, to the parents, I always tell them, the woman also, the moms, to help the dads. Because however much you say the mom, the dads are not involved, but you realize that they are the breadwinners. So in most cases, they are not around, not because they don't want to be in the lives of children, but there are some caring fathers who are taken away by circumstances. They work long distances, they are away. So the moms also, you should contribute, uh, help the dads explaining to these children that however much your dad is away, but he's the one who has given you this. Do you know that? Yeah. Uh, my, um, in most cases, my, my, my husband is abroad. Uh, a child was given homework and I, I felt uh, uncomfortable when she asked me, mom, who, uh, they were arguing, the two of them, mom, who's, who pays school fees? Can you imagine? <laughs> who pays school fees? Then this one was it was saying it's the dad who pays school fees. It's supposed to be the dad. And then this one was like, but it's mom who gives us. You, you understand? 
So it's up to you, the mother, to explain to these children, this is the fees, but you thank your dad. He has given you this. Because they are going to grow up like this, knowing that it's always mom who was providing, and yet in the actual sense, it's dad who has been providing. So, uh, so, so you yeah, need to be, ladies, you have to be shock absorbers in situations like that. Yeah, you have to, yeah, to explain to the children so that uh, they don't neglect their fathers when they grow up. As Atma said, she comes, she gives 50,000 to the, to the dad when everyone is seeing, and then she gives a uh, hundred to the mom, uh, to the mom on the side, and yet the daddy has to share this fifty among all the family members. So when they grow up, they will know that however much daddy was absent sometimes, but he said he also contributed. Uh, Yasin yeah, also talked about doing what you enjoy, but you do it in the right way. Some men, when they they are stressed and they want to do what they are enjoy, they are picking on two vices. They are going to take alcohol because. After all, that's the way they think they are going to uh, to, to hide. Now, uh, thanks so much. It was so insightful. Uh, unless anyone else has something to add on, but our time is fast spent. Uh, Smoogie, will you will kindly help me briefly within a few minutes. Uh, talk about that. Uh, talk about that uh, announcement. And then also try to check if we have some messages on Facebook and we, we see how to wrap up. It's so in, in, interesting and we can't do everything in one day. Our mental health, especially in men, is a brighter thing that can't be looked at in a day. So we shall always have, be having such and such uh, discussions in the same space. Yes, please, Mugi, within two minutes. Uh, there was a uh, hand uh, from Hatima before uh, I read up this Hatima. You had something to say. It was, uh, it was just a, a, a solution to, you know, to, to this, this, uh, this whole mental health issue in men. We mm. need to change the perception about mental health. We need to encourage open dialogue. We need to promote the idea that seeking help is a sign of strength rather than weakness. Yeah, so my men who are on the call, seeking help is not, is not a failure. It's not a sign of weakness. You're human. Mm. You're human, mm. you're equally the same as a woman. So please and please seek help, seek advice, mm. talk about it, build a, support, a strong supportive system. The kinds mm. of friends you move around with, who are they? Yeah. Um, the kind of partner you have at home. Have you, you, know, you know, we need to build a strong supporting system, but above all, we need mm. to seek help. Do not suffer in silence. Do not go through situations alone. We are here. We are trained. Hatma is trained. Janat is trained. Mariam is trained. And, you yes. know, we, we need to encourage, encourage open dialogue. Please talk about these things. Do not suffer in silence. Thank yeah. you. Uh, thank you, Hatma. Uh, Smoogie yeah, yeah. will give us uh, the announcement briefly, and then we go into the parting shots. Okay, yes, uh, it's just a simple announcement uh, from uh, uh, one of the associates. We say, he's saying that there's some land being sold and uh, it's um, situated at in uh, Akrait Estates on Entebbe Road, about five minutes off Entebbe Road uh, while you're driving. It's a semi Dutch uh, three bedroom and involved is a uh, the apartment it has uh, three rooms three bedrooms and uh, each is self-contained and uh, a boys quarter it's fully rented um, at the moment but you could also use it for a bnb bnb uh it's a hundred uh, it's a 70 by 100 plot uh the price is negotiable and uh, you can contact elizabeth uh Nalukenge at plus two five six seven five four eight zero zero eight zero zero. The contact again is Elizabeth Nalukenge. It's plus two five seven five four eight zero zero eight zero zero. Uh, that's uh, just a little commercial from uh, uh, one of our associates with us. 
But um, I just wanted to leave a little question um, also to- I, I, I have a suggestion, Smoggy. Please. If you have that announcement in writing, can you just paste it in the chat so that people can get the number? Someone is asking for the number. Oh, okay, okay. I'll do the needful then. Very shortly, yeah. Yeah, but um, as uh, we go ahead, I was uh, have we we've left uh, one of our guests. I don't know whether it was by default left a little bit quiet, Madam Mariam. I just wanted to uh, jump start her with uh, just a little question as we come to a closure uh, before my maybe my last submission. Submission, uh, Madam Mariam, um, we're having these mental health issues. Yes, do they actually? differ when it comes to gender do men and uh, men and women are they uh, uh, does this mental health uh, does it manifest differently in men and in, in men versus women <laughs> thank you so much thank you everyone for the wonderful presentation i don't know my volume is too low I don't know whether you're hearing me, but I've had uh, with a, a very Actually, understood some of this. They differ you, from men and women. They mm. are just slightly different, just because of nature. That men are wired naturally differently, and women are wired naturally different. They're just slightly different, but most of the symptoms are kind of similar. Only mm. that the way women are affected by mental health is not compared to that of men, because with us. Naturally, we talk, we always talk and talk and talk. You know, I can talk to Hatma the same thing, go to Fujanat the same thing, go to Yasin. We talk and by through talking, we heal. So we don't get so much affected compared to men who die in silence. There is one important thing I want to stress and it has been it has come out here. The importance of family in mental health. Because when you look into family, when you go back to our childhood, even the issues we face today, for example, Yasin was talking about historical trauma. Those are some of the things that cause mental health today when they are way back from our childhood. What is important? What is very important to us is having that journey of self-discovery. Who are you? Are you an introvert? Do you know the dangers of an introvert? Are you an extrovert? What are the threats of an extrovert? You know, are you an avoidant person? When, when something happens, you just say, ah, you just keep a roof. You run away from danger. The more you run away, it does not imply that the, 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 the problem will end. Are you someone who is an insecure person all the time? You are insecure or you look at the world as your greatest problem. Everyone is hating you. Everyone is your enemy. Are you that person? Are you that person who is too fearful and anxious? When you do a self-discovery, it will even help you on the mental health issues. And what is most important is being a prayerful person. Some people call it meditation. But when you trust God and really pray, most of these things with God's help can be solved. Thank you so much for this wonderful. Before you thank us very much, us before you thank us very much, as a woman, how would you actually help your man in any case? Is in a situation because today's topic of discussion is more of a, a man's mental health. I'm just seeking opinion of ladies. You're married and settled. Your man is in a situation. He's in dilemma. And you've been hitting on the family being an issue that is a remedy hey, as a major Mary, person. As a, woman. as a woman, a wife, how would you help your man? My partner. Mm -hmm. I don't know why my volume is, you know, but I'm hearing. We are hearing you. you. You are on. You are on, Maria. How do I help my partner? Yeah. 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 Oh, how I help my partner. Ha, how I wish he could speak it himself, Banai. The way I help my partner <laughs> is giving him complete peace. I'm not a quarrelsome woman. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm. I always detect that there is something wrong, and I'm always there. This is just a season of time, you know? It is a small mm. season. You know, life is made in, in seasons. So I always say, N -n 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 I'm always there to, to, to inspire him. I will not be that woman who asks for 
above of 300,000 when I, I really see his own pressure of school fees. I have intervals that I have to give him time. We communicate deeply, not on surface, but intentional deep communication because with us, we have what we call to antigen to get them with water. So respectfully, and in the end, we are going to start breaking it down, especially now men in Uganda today with the, especially the business people, they are having a lot of pressure. All I do is give him that safe haven because home must be a safe haven. Mm. Yes, yes. yes. Um, Am I answering so smoggy? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much, uh, Mariam, and uh, for those uh, sweet insights. I wish she was around to tell us that because, okay, let's trust you. We don't have trust issues, as Sumugi was saying. Uh, thanks so much, everyone. The panelists, it was really hot. I don't know whether anyone else has anything to say, or I don't know whether we have questions on Facebook because I see our time is fast spent. Do we have questions, Sumugi? Uh, let me no. check. <coughs> uh, apparently, uh, not so many questions, no questions there. Mm. But I think it has been mm. so much a, seg a segment yeah. where people are satisfied and they're really fully, mm. you've digested it well. Uh, yeah. I think Hatma has something to say uh, yes, before me. I yeah. give my last submission. All right. As uh, I think, let me use this opportunity to give my closing remarks to the men on this call this evening. Please learn to trust God. Yeah, like there are certain things that you you don't have control of. It's beyond your understanding. Trust God. God will mm. always make a way. God, God, God always has, has a solution yeah, mm. that man does not have. So we need to mm. trust in God, in whatever religion that you believe in. Mm. That is what I can say. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Hatma, for that parting shot. It's really insightful. Uh, let's kindly hear from Yasin as we, we part. Okay. Uh, thank you. Uh, uh, the, the panelists. Uh, all has been said, but still we shall have more things to say. Uh, for me, my, uh, my closing remark comes in. Uh, the role starts from the home. Mm. Our work begins from home. Mm. Let children be made clear and uh, uh, I'm made to understand that there are those times which are heightening, there are those good times, there are those challenging times. Like it's very important. You don't bring in those deep, deep, deep things like, those hearses, hearses. And you people who still have chance, me, I may not be so much like, like you people, like you have bigger platforms, Mchala, Maria, Mchala, Hatma, Mchala, Yahaya, plus the gentleman on the other side, uh, uh, you people, you have bigger platforms. Always, when you stand in a way, I talk about mental health. Nebo who said that you can be so Gobagambe Bugambi, she known to mental health, if Tebank Bongo, like Chia Mobutoni, you to touch it while I knew a lack, let a new be bozo. Then, uh, Nabana, let it be a say out with the clock on Abanabo. Gamma was a high five. Bagambi, mental health is your priority. They will keep remembering name of Gabane. Mental health is what our priority. Ah, then in Gochiban, you know why is their priority and why they should understand it. So, you know, you never know to say no one when I got to not to Kayo Abana, a wakalet to be our part and partial. Gabosavani Allah, the Obagamba, Babitegi, the Abibategi, the Atbasuku Veda and Gababi Mania, Nisha Allah, I submit. Mm. Thanks so much, Yasin. Uh, for that insight. Uh, yes, Mugi, your last uh, parting shots. Uh, well, thank you very much, the host and a fellow panelists. 
e bona so nyiwa uluso kujanja wazamu kuwo kibacha kavi kanjanja waze hatima uh, mm. we used to be in the same class uh, that was St mm. Joseph na Galama St Cloud uh, she's uh, she has a lot of gifts a uh, hidden mysteries she was uh, a netballer by then i don't know why she left that yet in athletics she was very very good but mm. And uh, when I saw her, you know, trying to manifest herself onto a media uh, space spaces, I was like, wow, she's really worth it. But from the way she has been digesting issues, at least everyone has been very comfortable. And uh, I really thank you. Thank you very much. I hope we get more of you because you're insightful when it comes to uh, media space. We need also some, uh, you know, pick some leaves from you. Probably we can add on the menu of uh, Euroforum. And uh, you coming as a guest, I think you're fully informed and we shall be calling upon you every time. And uh, mm. in the channel of Golola, Nagolola, having Walula up to do Seiko. Thank you very Thank much. You. But uh, the yeah. other participants, you're doing a great work. One I have seen. Thank you very much. And the rest. But on the topic of discussion, it's really a gigantic kind of topic and very sensitive. And uh, Mariam said it can be, a, we can actually look at it as a pandemic or epidemic, but it's true. Uh, it's really touching. And it's the ongoing situation. We may think it's just because we're mentally disturbed, but even the environment itself has become globally warm that it's even affected, they're affecting us financially, politically, uh, socially, and say tabusi. But solution comes back now to family. How uh, Madame um, Hatma talked about um, choosing a right partner can be one of the starting remedy. It's really so uh, resourceful, actually. How we choose our partners, we have to be very careful because at the end of it all, they will help us as time goes on to solve very many issues. Or oh, inclusive is the topic of discussion today. So. Society, uh, basically family, has to play a leading role, a leading role in solving this issue. But nevertheless, we have to um, actually normalize this mental issue. It's not a problem, actually. Like any other um, illness which can be on your body, like, you know, or any other part of your body. Also, a brain is another part that can also get some bit of comfort conflicts in it, that it needs some bit of healthy, you know, help. Sometimes thinking not, you're not in your right cognitive way of thinking and you just need people to talk to. So as people into that situation, let's try to accept open communication. Let's normalize this emotional expression. To open up. Yes, men who have ego, to, to issues connecting with opening up, but this is the time we need one another. Um, mm -hmm. But all in all, let's try to acknowledge the value of emotional expressions and providing the support systems. Here we shall break the chain of emotional or mental health stigma. But one thing I want to leave or to request even, uh, Madam Yehaya, this topic of discussion, I wish you could give us another series and we dig it more. Because Buana Rajab, I said we should digest more. This conversation should continue. Yes, so yes. let's try to see yes. how we can create another series of this. Because I've been so flat in my discussion because I haven't told you the challenges of mental uh, illness when it comes to uh, people into the diaspora. That's another challenge because society in the diaspora also has its own challenges. At times it's with the marriage situations. There are very many people who are in camps. They can't let, I mean, they can't explain job issues and very many people are silent. At times, even it's a language issue. I'm in Denmark where actually speaking English, sometimes I'm here uh, on uh, platforms like this. Because 
So it, at times also we are homesick, actually. So I wish this topic of discussion has uh, different segments where we can touch different areas, mental health issues, or maybe in children when it comes maybe to people in the diaspora, uh, workplaces. I mean, I don't know how you're going to do to play with this, but try to create it as a series because it's the ongoing mm -hmm. situation we're in. Mm -hmm. But for now, I submit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but I, I do some I, brand ambassadoring as well as ads, so mm. that is how he contacted me. <laughs> mm. Yeah, yeah. She's, she's a big brand this side, and yeah. we've got two years of that. Uh, thanks so much, my dear panelists. It has been a quite insightful session, and thanks uh, to you, our dear viewers, for being on up to this time. Uh, Yasin, is your hand up? It's not up, it just stayed there. Yeah. Okay, as we conclude, yeah, as we conclude, we've discussed the silent pandemic of men suffering in silence. And as you've seen, it requires our attention because it's really big. That's why even you talked about talking about it more and more. So by acknowledging the struggles men are going through uh, breaking the stigma and maybe uh, fostering the environment where me, men feel appreciated and comfortable seeking help, we can make a difference. Because if big people come out and admit that they need help, I told you Prince Harry came out and admitted that he needs help. He has been going through a mental health breakdown due to the loss of his mother. So it means we should come out and admit as well as men, don't die in silence. I always tell the parents I'm mentoring in mind your child and the children that mental health is as important in your life as physical health. We know we have, we go to hospitals when we are physically sick, but we don't realize that when we're mentally sick, we need the help. So please uh, prioritize mental health uh, and then we shall be good to go. Uh, let's hope you've taken a leaf from what we've discussed. Uh, it is personal transformation. If you can take one or two things from here, and then you go and apply it right away. They talked about men is prioritizing, prioritizing their selves. Please, men, go and work on yourself, on your schedules, on your routines. If you suck out and begin the musmugi, don't uh, be with that much ego, as Yasin said. Uh, thanks so much, Yasin, uh, Hatma, Smugi, Mariam, in her absentia, and all the viewers on the Euro Forum. Thanks for always being here. We are always here every week. And thanks for coming up whenever we call upon you. Thanks so much. From me to you is a good night wherever you are. Uh, thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.